For people living in some coastal communities, the flooding is calling attention to the importance of coastal restoration projects. But as Tan Trung reports, those efforts alone may not be enough to protect people and property. Doris Mobley says the flooding around her home in Golden Meadow actually started after Tropical Storm Cristobal blew through. The water is from a nearby levee that broke this afternoon. It broke right behind her house. That's where they get in the flood from. Uh, it's from I the see. levee. You see the water Mobley water has lived here all her life. In those years, she says the land south of the Lee Ontario Lock has been sinking and the risk of flooding has been rising. You know what? I'm just almost fed up with it. <laughs> I'm getting too old for that. <laughs> Wendell Kirall is the general manager of the South Lafouche Levy District. He says coastal restoration is needed now more than ever, but Kirall says that must be coupled with flood protection projects like this floodgate. Kirall says the threat of subsidence or sinking land is perhaps the biggest threat to Louisiana. I was born in 1951, okay? Since that time, you could say the Gulf has gotten closer, maybe about 20 to 30 miles to almost everybody in South Louisiana. Kirill says when he was a young boy, and we're talking about 50 plus years ago, this part of LA-1 was actually two feet higher. And he says that it took a quote unquote real storm for it to flood. But take a look at it today. Even with Crystal Ball's minimal punch, some of these areas are now underwater. Since 2007, Louisiana has secured more than $21 billion for protection and restoration projects in 20 parishes. That may sound like an accomplishment, but Kirill says Mother Nature is already winning and will continue to lose communities like Leeville. What is the reality for coastal Louisiana? The, the reality is we have to be as smart as possible, as cost effective as possible, and knowing that we'll continue to lose. But that doesn't mean we got to give up on it. Some residents are close to giving up. I'm starting to look for a house now. <laughs> I'm ready to get out. I've been living here 50 years. If and when she does move, she'll be moving to higher ground, something many coastal communities may have to consider in the future. In Lafouche Parish, Tan Trung, Eyewitness News. And according to the Coastal Restoration and Protection Authority, since 2007, there have been 327 miles of levee improvements through Louisiana and 60 miles of barrier islands and berms and constructed.